the focus is on that Ezekiel, all right? So the Ezekiel choke is I get my arm around my opponent's head, head. I get four fingers in, and then I have to bring my hand over the neck, all right? So what things that I don't like to do is get a two-finger grip. It's going to be tough for you, all right? So get those four fingers in, get your hand, and then you don't need to regret. That is no regret. So what I want, what you have to do is you're going to slide that top hand on, on top of your forearm to do the choke. All right, so the secret right here is how I'm supposed to go, get a grip, keep my balance, throw my hand over the, the face right here or go to the other side right there and to be able to be effective. All right, this is what we're gonna see right now. Okay, so I get here, I get the mount, That mount position right here. I have my again my hands, hands on the mat, and then as soon as I, I get my arm around the head, so first I need to be careful, all right? Because if I'm right here and he tries to do a no escape, I can post my right hand on the mat, I can post my left hand on the mat, all right? As soon as I get my arm around so what something something that he can do is first to put pressure on my forearm with his head all right so right now if his head is off the mat it's, it's easy to move my hand and pose again but if he traps my forearm that's not going to be that easy if i try to move my arm right now that's not it's not that easy so and then if he does that upa, he pushes me that way, see, like, by the time that I have my hand right here, I already lose the position. So that's why once I, oh, come on, come on. once I get this one, if I go really deep, what happened? It's less balance. All right, so I don't, I know that it's easier to get a grip right here, but what I want to do is, I need to have at least this elbow right here. If he's trying to do that up escape, I have my elbow right there. Elbow in means that less balance, all right? So that's the first thing that I want to pay attention. This arm is gonna go around the head anyways, but don't go too deep. If I go too deep, I'm vulnerable, all right? And then I go right there, okay? so. What I like to think is about this part of my, my arm behind his neck, all right? So if I go right there, look, this is not behind his neck, so I want to go right here, okay? And then I get a grip right there, all right? Four fingers in, and that's okay, all right? It's okay to go and get this grip on my own gi. It's not okay to go and get four fingers in on my opponent's gi. Okay, my gi, it's totally fine. So I go, I get my grip, look at my hand position, it's already right. My elbow is kind of right here. I go and get my grip. All right, so if I try to just move my hand over his face, that's not gonna, that's gonna be tough. All right, so what I want to do is, I want to one, make a fist. Two, instead to go and try to bring my hand across over his neck right there, I want to go bring his, my hand on his chest. So what's gonna happen here is like, hand goes down, elbow goes up. So once I bring my elbow down, look at that. My hand's gonna be on the right place. So I go one, two, down. Once I bring my elbow back, my hand is already on the other side, okay? So I go here, one, 
and two. Get my position, so make sure that if your key is right there, it's gonna be duh for you. Make sure you pull all the way down. So now you can move your head easier than if the grip is like <clears throat> So I get one and two. Make the fist. These hands are gonna go down and look at my elbow and then go up. So once my, my elbow goes down right there, my hand is on the right place. All right, one more time. I get the position, hand is around the neck. I'm gonna control, I'm gonna my sleeve all the way down. I'm going to make a fist. My hand goes right here by his jaw. All right, instead to try to move my hand across. Look at that, my hand goes down. And look what happened to my elbow. My elbow goes all the way up. And then I'm going to switch. Elbow goes down, hand is already over his neck. You don't need to squeeze right now. I just want you guys to go and get this position. All right, right now. So if you by yourself, this is what I want. Arm around, get a grip, and down. Bring the elbow down, boom. And then you have the hand on top. Don't need to put pressure yet. All right, so get your partner and go. All right, time. So now let's see how we are doing the submission. Submission here. Okay. So I guess everything will be the same. All right, so I get that. And then look at my elbow. Oh, don't go that deep, right here. I get my, my hand right here. Even my head is important. If I place, put my head on this side, it's easier for him to get me off balance. All right, so my head is on this way right there. I'm gonna make the fist down, up. I get my position right here. And then the first way, you see like sometimes the person on bottom, I'm just gonna put pressure right here on the throat. And some people will tap. All right, is that legal? That's legal, that's okay to go. As soon as you have the grip on the bottom, that's legal. I cannot go here, place my hand on his neck right here and then put pressure. I cannot do that. But if I have the Ezekiel, that's fine. All right, so I get one. To get my position right here and then get here on this side. All right, so what I want right now is to get my hand, my knee off the mat. All right, so that's important. So this elbow right here, the bottom elbow, I want that elbow straight because I want to slide my hand down. All right, so I get the position one. Get a good grip right here. Two, get down, get up. All right, and then I go. I'm gonna slide, I'm gonna get my knee and I'm gonna apply pressure. All right, so that's that's the submission. The submission, if the hand, my, my hand is right here, all right, that's gonna be pressure on, on the neck. If my hand pass, the neck right here, the hand is gonna be on the forearm and then you slide the hand down. All right, one more time. I get the position right here, look, on the other side, one and two. Make a fist, get my position, hand down and hand up. And then I go, one and two. See how I move my elbow off the mat and slide my hand down. All right, so let's try to do that. And then we're gonna see how I'm gonna counter that. So get your partner and go. 
All right, guys, turn. So Rick was asking if uh, if you could put someone to sleep with a with a Ezekiel choke. So of course you can. So remember, what did I say? If the hand, if my arms they are parallel and I'm putting pressure right here, the people will tap because of the pressure. It's uncomfortable, and then is a pressure right here on the neck, and then you tap for that. But if the hand goes across and then you start applying pressure on this side and on that side, it's a blood choke. Let me tell you guys something. That was a, a man, 20 years ago. That was this guy back in Brazil. Really good judo. So it was very hard to put his back on the mat. So his matches, he would always end up on top. And then uh, people would pull guard on him. And he would go with the gi really saggy. And he would, people would put him on the close guard. And he was heavy. And he would go, get the arm around the head, even from the close guard. Get the hand and boom. Get that, Ezekiel, all right? And people on bottom would not believe. Ah, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna use my legs to push this guy away. But you know, if you don't catch that submission on time, it doesn't matter if he's mount or guard, you, you're gonna, that's tough, that is very hard. And then he would not get here, he would go all the way. And he would put people to his lip like, right and left at the tournaments because people would not believe on that Ezekiel from the close guard. In my point of view, of course, it's wrong to do that. All right, because the close guard, if you're on top, you're supposed to have, uh, is a position that you need to escape and not to attack. All right, and then, but he would put, put people to sleep on that one. How I'm gonna counter the Ezekiel? All right, so everything starts with my head. If I get my head off the mat, the guy's gonna be able to get the arm around. If I put my head, let my head flat on the mat, he's not gonna get the arm around. And this is your first counter. All right, so if, if you're the type of person that And you fight him like this. You see, look at his, his arm. His arm is around, already around my head. All right, so if I'm right here, and if he tries to get the Ezekiel, that's not gonna happen. I go here, boom. So that's the first counter. Boom, head flat. He's open, other stuff for him. All right, but here definitely the Ezekiel. I have to be, I have to pay attention here with the Ezekiel because he eventually he's gonna get that arm and that's gonna be tough. Second thing that I'm gonna do to counter is if you think about that top hand, all right, so he's gonna get a grip and then I go right here, he's gonna try and then I'm gonna try to go and hold. See, I'm holding is the hand right here. Look, eventually he's gonna get this hand across and that's gonna be the choke. So if the hand is coming from this side, I cannot use the same side arm. I have to block. So this arm right here is under his arm to block that hand. I have to block his hand right here, all right? If I catch his hand with this arm right here, he's gonna find a way to go drag that hand across and get the choke, all right? So the, the counter right here, let's go see. The counter right here, see look, the hand comes under his arm right here. And then I'm gonna block that hand 
before he gets the hand across my neck. So I, he, my hand right here is wrong. My hand is right there. I'm gonna block. And if he tries to go over my face right here, look, this is the time that I have to push him away and do something. All right, so the counter is really simple. Remember that if the arm is across, there is only a few things that he's gonna do. So if you just start to go and do this, my arms are right there holding him. See, look at that. The neck is all open for him to do that Ezekiel. All right, so now I'm gonna try to go and get this hand right here. That is too late. Arm is around my neck. My hand is in right here, defending that Ezekiel. All right, arm is around the hand. My hand is in defending the Ezekiel. You see how if I just move my head to here, I'm not defending. I'm not gonna move my hand right here, look. Now I can counter. I can counter that Ezekiel. All right, so the counter. So first you have to see when the Ezekiel is coming, arm around the head, the fan right there, never on the side. See the hand is coming this way. You can, I cannot counter right here. I have to counter before the hand goes through, right there, all right? I counter with my head down. I counter with my hand, all right? Every time that I try to do something that is over his arm and trying to block the hand, he's gonna be able to go and get that uh, hand through, okay? So any questions? No questions. So Ezekiel is nice. Sometimes it's tough to get, especially if you have a short game. <laughs> very tough, very hard to get. See, I would not even recommend. You see, with a gear like this, if you have a gear that's a little bigger, and so you have more chance to go and do that Ezekiel. But you have a gear that is really tight on you, and it's, it's either you're not gonna get or you're gonna hurt your fingers because it, it's gonna get twisted over there for you. All right, so uh, when I have, just like, you know, like through the years, you, so sometimes I think, okay, I'm gonna practice Ezekiel, the Ezekiel. I, I want to do that Ezekiel. And then I start, okay, how do I do this? Oh, four fingers, two fingers, one finger. All right, so the hand goes right there. The hand goes right here. What's the back? So sometimes, look at this. Sometimes I stick my hand inside my gi, and then I get the Ezekiel. So now I don't have a problem twisting because when you get the position right here, and then it feels like, and sometimes it, I'm trying to get the Ezekiel, but you look at that, this is, my, my, my fingers is all getting squashed right there. So I go, I get this one and then get it, the Ezekiel right there. And if you get this, it's guaranteed that a person is gonna tap because there is zero discomfort on your fingers with this one. And then you see how sometimes Ezekiel gets like really put a lot up. You see, my hands already, they are all, my fingers, they are all messed up. All right, so I find like this is easier to finish the Ezekiel. Of course, sometimes get stuck. It's easier for the person on bottom sometimes to do that oop escape because I get stuck right there. I cannot post that hand. But you know, sometimes and you have to explore, expand everything that you know. You try, try four fingers in, try with two fingers and you see if you can do it. Try with the whole hand in and you see if you can do it. And then you, you start adjusting the jujitsu for your type. All right, thank you for watching today and see you guys, see you guys Friday. Oh, cool. thank you very much, Lucas. Thanks, Eduardo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.